Hey, welcome back to Just Wild NZ. I hope you're ready. I've got all the gear and some more. I'm talking about surviving off the off the rock pools. I'm talking about crazy cliffs. I'm talking about rappelling off cliffs. I'm talking about trying to get through to the south coast. I'm trying to get to a 50k destination from here, which is Red Rocks. Let's go. The southwest coast, bottom of the North Island. I am talking about terrain that is just smashed with winds, smashed with tides. It can just turn like that. We've got crazy cliffs that have just been eaten out by crazy weather. We've got to get up and around this incredible exposed coastline. I'm talking about 50k of just pure adventure. We've got the ocean this time. That's our food source. There's always a twist on Just Wild NZ. And that twist is, see this here? That's our drinking water. <laughs> I've got to distill that salt water into drinking water. I hope it works, because we've got a long, long walk. Now for some reason, if we have to repel we make our way up through cliffs if we get bluffed out and if we have to repel off some of this cliffs man we've got to be careful schist like rock mixed in with a heap of scrub no point worrying about the if buts and maybe let's just tackle the situations as we approach them let's go just come across some old string I can utilize for a spear. Don't know how brittle it is, but sort of fraying a bit. Constantly on the lookout just for what little things we might use. How's this? Look at the size of the waves that come through here. Just smash! Just owning it! Good chance we might find some some goodies scattered along here. Something we can utilize for that spear. This is so insane to be here. Just the fastness, I feel like I'm on my own. Well I am. <laughs> Here's something we might be able to use. A bit of old PVC piping. Let's have a look. It's almost got that sort of spear gun feel and look to it already. I'm going to put this in my pack. This is something we might be able to use later. So you're walking on this loose rock in the sand. It's almost like the last episode, part one and two, up in the snow where it's just fighting for every footstep. Now if you haven't seen that yet, you need to go back and check that out. Just coming around the corner and the blue water is just coming in. It's looking better and better and better. Possibly the wind's dying out too. That would be good. Unless it's just a sheltered bay. You can see the sort of the, those deeper blues coming in. We should be able to easily find something in there. It's looking good. It's looking way better than I thought it was going to be. I must admit when I was strapping all my dive gear, I was thinking, oh, am I really going to use this? It's just going to be no viz. The massive waves are just going to, it's just going to be sludge. <laughs> it looks good. Can't wait to see what's in this next bay. This looks real sheltered, real nice and clean. Pretty hungry. Let's go have a look at some of these rock pools. Should be something in there. I'm sure there'll be a couple of uh, limpets we can pop off the rock. Let's go have a look at these rock pools down here. There's a crab just around the corner here. Oh, he looks good. He looks good. Yes. 
<laughs> this crab and that kinna just down in the rocks there in the rock pool. That's breakfast and lunch. There's another one down there as well, but a bit smaller. There's the kinna. Also picked up this limpet. I love kinna. I sort of reckon it tastes between an oyster and a scallop. Oh. Wow, even though this is a little one, wow, so tasty. Right, let's get this limpet on the boil, along with the crabs, get some lunch. Woo! I know it's only a couple of crabs, but that is the best meat. So I know it looks like not a lot of meat out of the limpet, but they're so readily available, they're kind of everywhere. Like a power, but not, not as intense. All right, now the goods. I love crab, I love crab. Look at that. Now the taste test. Oh my god. Oh, that's so sweet. I tell you what, I love crayfish, but I love crab even more. This is so super sweet. Oh, yes. I've just come across this incredible cave. Unbelievable. Makes me wonder if the tide comes up this much for it to be dug out like it is. Let's go have a look. How cool is this? You know what I'm thinking? How cool would it be to spend the night in that cave and get set up here? As long as the storm doesn't come through, which I know it's, it shouldn't come through, then we should be safe. Let's start crafting some pole spears. Let's start looking for some wood around here. Play with a few ideas. Wetsuit on, get in the drink. Speaking of drink, we've got to make some it's undrinkable water too. There's just no, no streams, nothing around here. This is what we, we've got to distill some water. We can use this. We can use this tonight. Hopefully used to make some water. We've got something else here too. Check this out. I wonder if we can use this for a pole spear. <laughs> this is perfect. I just noticed. I'm going to give it a good stretch, it's quite brittle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it into, into strips. I'll cut my fire starter, which is the, the good old Kiwi bicycle tube, and I'll weave it together, sort of place it. So when I pull it back, that means that all the force won't be on that brittle rubber, but it should have, still have that elastic to punch forward. Let's prep that sling. But I'm getting a lot of good uh, stretch there uh, and it's not snapping beautiful spot absolutely stunning spear making time what i want to try is i found a femur bone from a goat so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this thinner bit here i'm going to sharpen it up i'm going to lodge it into this stick and sharpen the point with a barb i can go for a much lighter stick with this option let's get crafting Happy with that. Real happy with that. Works well on land. Let's hope. It's just as lethal in the water. Wetsuit time. Thank you. 
how cool is that octopus? Wow! <laughs> He's a good He's a really good eating. But I'm going to leave my line. See what else is around. How unreal was that? Wow! Just so many massive power in there. That was phenomenal. Ultimate accommodation. We had incredible lunch, the crabs, the limpets, the kinna. Now we've got power tonight. <laughs> oh, it's so good. All right, time to make some water. So what I'm thinking is salt water, the vapor, the steam is fresh water, and the salt water, the salt being heavier, is gonna condense in here. So if I cut this plastic bottle that I found, just leave it over the top. I know I said we we're gonna use this as a spear gun, but if that's a nice tight fit there, I can get a bit of bend on it, and then put the other end on this. So the idea is the steam should come up, cool down, and go into this bottle. We'll give it a go. Now I did that for only not even two minutes and it was just too hot to hold that, that pipe. So I've got to work out a better system with this idea. But after two minutes, but this should be fresh water from the ocean. Oh, <laughs> it's real good. It works. That's so epic. With these power, I'm gonna poach them first in salted water. Just poach them for about four or five minutes. And they just soften up, and then I'm gonna fry them whole in the cave. So they've been ticking over for about five minutes now. So what I'll do now, I'll cool them off. Pop it out, hold the skirt. Job done that power all right let's get in the cave start the fire up cook this power in the in the cave Time for the taste test. Oh, I know this is going to be amazing. Mm. Fresh power in a cave in a remote area. <laughs> I'm going to finish this power. Going to distill a bit more water and then put the fire out. I've sort of let it die out quite a bit. And then tomorrow, another day of adventure. See you in the morning. Morning. Wow, what a good sleep that was. <laughs> it was just incredible. The sun's sort of slowly coming up and it's looking good. It's looking real good. Oh, I still feel like a kid, it, it just in a fort. 
I'm going to be thinking about this cave for a long, a long time. Let's kick off the day. Just come across this Neptune's necklace, which is a real nice edible. What you do is grab these cool little balls here, the necklace, but if you punch them with your fingernail, wow, see how much salt water is in them? <laughs> oh wow, it's really beautiful. If you haven't tried it, try it. Just get rid of that salt water first. Looks like we've bluffed out again. Can't make my way around there. What I'll do is I'll scramble up this. We'll have a look if we can get back down on the other side. Let's go have a look. Up and over this real bluffy section but I don't think I've cut around enough but I really want to get back down on that beach there the water looks incredible it looks so secluded down there have a look at this can only imagine what's in the water it's big country I knew it'd be this along the beach get bluffed out have to try and pick my way through the up these cliffs it does look pretty sheer but we'll have a look let's go i'm looking for good spikes something that i can really get a good sling on seeing a real good spike just here just by this bush as long as that will hold i know that's a good spot There's no way that's going to hold my weight. I'm really not happy about that one. There's another one up here with a, with a spike. Then I might be able to put an anchor around that. If we can't find something along here that I'm happy with, then we've got to head back up. We'll lose, we'll lose time, but we'll gain life. <laughs> that's what it's all about. Whole thing, look at this. Gonna drop this pack and see if I can use that as an anchor. Obviously, this whole rock's just moving. That's a no-go. tell that it's, the roots have rotted on this side but not this side oh no way too much movement there that's a no go there's a tree there if it's secure enough and those roots are deep and i'm happy with it i might be able to put a an anchor around that tree oh this looks better oh this is way better Set up my anchor points what i've done here i've used two slings 
So what I'm going to do now is attach the rope, set up, do some tests, throw the rope over, see if it's long enough. Right, I'll go get the rope. So happy with this anchor. Okay. Let's do it. Made it, got hung up on that tree there and then towards the end the rope was twisted a bit because it's real new. I didn't like how on that top bit there was quite a sharp rock that it was sort of rubbing on. I didn't like that so I kept positioning it. How amazing was that? That was so cool. What I'm going to do now, untie the end, pull the rope through. I've sort of got it so it's nice and straight. So hopefully it shouldn't snag and then the whole rope should be retrievable. Hopefully it sounds as smooth as I'm making it out to be. Just gonna make sure it's not twisted and all I gotta do is pull on one side. Woo yes, we're down in this beautiful bay. The wind does seem to be picking up. So I'm glad we came off that cliff. <laughs> the near sheer drop cliff. And now we're in this just amazing bay. So I'm gonna drop the back here, put on all the gears, get back in the water, particularly how it looks like it's just gonna possibly blow up more and more and more as the day prolongs. So now's the time to try and get a butterfish, or get a power or a canner at least. Fish just knocked up to him, stuck in the rock. <laughs> yes! Let's go on and have a feed. <laughs> oh, wow. I really thought I'd just be eating seaweed today, I've got to be honest. I do love my canna. Obsessed with power and butterfish. <laughs> I'm so lucky to get that butterfish. Butterfish seems to firm up quite a bit overnight, so when you do it fresh like this, it is quite hard to fill it, but worth every taste. There we go. Just when it starts to pull away like that, it starts seeing flakes, and it's still just little stringy bits in there. Just holding it together, that's when it's fish is perfect. Oh wow. Oh my god. Oh, that's so good. Now for me, it doesn't get much better than this. Goes to show you put the effort in, you get the rewards. This will see me through the day. Right, let's get going. I had to scramble up this cliff. I couldn't get around the point there, so let's get back down on the beach. <laughs> Oh, we're getting close. We're getting so close to Red Rocks. <laughs> so now we're back into the rocks again. 
And that's a good sign. That sign means that Red Rocks must be just around the corner. The weather's held off too, even though it's still getting windier and windier. As soon as I go around this point here, I can imagine the, the swell, that southerly swell is gonna pick up quite a bit. But we're getting there. Should be just around this corner. Red Rocks just boom. Only 20 meters that way, it's the standard rocks. The same on the other side, it's just this peninsula. We did it! We did it! Woohoohoo! How good is this? We made it to Red Rocks! What a trip! I can't believe it! So good! Thanks so much for joining me on Just Wild NZ. Next time, I'm going to take you back up onto the snow. Middle of winter, and until then, adventure is all around us. You just got to search for it. Just got to get the gear, get the mindset, and get after it. I'll see you again soon on Just Wild NZ. Thanks again. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo!